Did you know? The original F-Zero was developed in only 15 months. This relatively short development period was put in place to make sure F-Zero was a Super Nintendo launch title and that the system's pseudo 3D Mode 7 graphics were showcased from day one. A direct sequel to F-Zero was originally planned for the Super Nintendo, but it was canceled. However, the unfinished sequel was touched up and released exclusively in Japan as BS F-Zero Grand Prix for the Super Nintendo Satellaview add-on. The game featured a new league along with new tracks like Mute City 4 and introduced four new playable vehicles, the Blue Thunder, the Luna Bomber, the Green Amazon, and the Fire Scorpion. An additional sequel called BF's F-Zero Grand Prix 2 was also released on the Satellaview and showcased five new tracks. There's been a few F-Zero titles that were never released outside of Japan. One example is an expansion kit for the F-Zero X that was released on a Nintendo 64 disk drive. This expansion gave players access to a track editor, a custom vehicle creator, a new cup, and a new soundtrack presented in stereo sound. In addition to this, there were three new vehicles to select, the Super Falcon, the Super Stingray, and the Super Cat. These were upgrades of the White Cat, the Fire Stingray, and the Blue Falcon. Though the Nintendo 64 disk drive and its games weren't released in the West, the Super Falcon can be found in the regular F-Zero X ROM files. The vehicle can be accessed using a GameShark device, suggesting that both Nintendo 64 disk drive and the expansion kit were intended for a release outside of Japan at one point. The game was never localized due to the commercial failure of the Nintendo 64 disk drive. A direct sequel to the Game Boy Advance game F-Zero GP Legend was released exclusively in Japan called F-Zero Climax. Like the F-Zero X expansion kit, the game came with a track editor. Climax also introduced five new characters who were first seen in the F-Zero anime, which the game itself was based on. The Japanese version of F-Zero GP Legend also came with an e-reader feature, allowing players to scan special cards that were sold separately. The cards let players unlock characters, new tracks, and challenges. This feature was dropped in the Western release of the game, possibly due to the waning popularity of the e-reader. All of the unlockable content was instead made available by completing in-game cups and challenges. There was also an F-Zero game in development for the Virtual Boy called Zero Racers, which was planned to release in fall of 1996. The game was shown at E3 and even had in-game screenshots published in an issue of Nintendo Power. It would feature three circuits, each consisting of five tracks and four playable vehicles, one of which was the Origami, a completely new vehicle. The game was canceled, most likely due to the commercial failure of the Virtual Boy. The arcade counterpart of F-Zero GX, F-Zero AX, can be found within the data of F-Zero GX. Although AX isn't playable through conventional means, it can be accessed using a cheat device. A number of unused models can also be found within F-Zero GX's ROM. This includes a flag, a fairly detailed memory card, a pylon, test cones, and a coin. The coin was possibly intended for use within the Casino Palace track. Evidence of two unused tracks can also be found in the game's ROM. One of the tracks is labeled AUR and can be only found in the Japanese release. All that remains of the track is a dummy placeholder image, suggesting it was cut early in development. The second track is called Stage Double Zero and consists of the drivable area from the Screw Drive track with assets from Sand Ocean and the collision data from the Twist Road track. It's unlikely that the track was meant to be playable and was only in the game's code to stop the track viewer from crashing when it tried to load slot double zero. One course, which was shown at E3 in 2005 but didn't make it into the game, was a recreation of the track Silence from F-Zero X. In the international releases of F-Zero GX, many of the stage graphics and backdrops were either altered or blurred with all the Japanese text swapped over with alien symbols. The venue Casino Palace was originally named Vegas Palace in the Japanese release. The name could have been changed to avoid any connections with the real-life resort city Las Vegas. Multiple vehicles and characters in the series have also been renamed outside of Japan. Mighty Gazelle was originally named M.M. Gazelle, Octoman was originally called Octman, and the Skull was named Arbin Gordon. Blood Falcon's vehicle, the Bloodhawk, was originally called the Hellhawk. In maximum velocity for the Game Boy Advance, the vehicles Windwalker and Sly Joker were originally called Crazy Horse and Dirty Joker in the Japanese release. As the Windwalker's pilot Nietzsche is a Native American, the name could have been changed due to the original name being viewed as racially insensitive. Two characters in F-Zero GP Legend also had their names changed in the West. Ryu Suzaku was changed to Rick Wheeler, and Haruka Misaki's alias Miss Killer was renamed Luna Rider. This was likely done so that the game lines up more closely with the English dub of the F-Zero anime.
Multiple characters in the F-Zero series have connections with other Nintendo franchises. Two of these characters are James McCloud and Mr. EAD. James McCloud has a similar appearance to the father of Fox McCloud from the Star Fox series, who is also named James McCloud. His biography reads that he was the leader of a flight squad known as the Galaxy Dog, and that he later converted his combat plane into an F-Zero racer to compete in the Grand Prix. Mr. EAD appears to resemble Nintendo's mascot, Mario, and features his iconic mustache as well as a Starman on his belt. His name comes from Nintendo's Entertainment Analysis and Development Division, which was abbreviated simply as EAD. This division of Nintendo also developed most of the main series Mario games, as well as F-Zero and F-Zero X. The character Octoman appears as a boss in Star Fox Command for the Nintendo DS, where he fights alongside the Angler Empire. He is however depicted as having only four arms instead of eight. One of the endings for the game also has Fox and Falco entering the G-Zero Grand Prix and converting their ships into G-Zero Racers. In both F-Zero and Star Fox, the ships are equipped with G-Diffuser anti-gravity systems. The Arwing from Star Fox, as well as F-Zero's Blue Falcon and the Fire Stingray also make cameo appearances in Super Mario RPG. In the Aeropolis venue, a giant Rob the Robot from the Port Town venue can be found hidden inside the outskirts behind the buildings. F-Zero GX also contains multiple references to Sonic the Hedgehog and other Sega franchises, as the game was developed by the Sega-owned developer Amusement Vision. In the bonus ending cinematic for Zoda, Eggman's glasses can be seen on the Mr. EAD Hulk. I.I. from the Super Monkey Ball series can be seen on Billy's belt, and PJ's vehicle, the Groovy Taxi, is possibly a reference to the Crazy Taxi series. One event is often cited as a reference, but in fact isn't. Your place on the track is restored by a flying saucer after either falling off the track or getting destroyed. It was previously thought that this saucer was being piloted by Chow. Now that we have access to better tools to examine the game's assets, it's clear that these creatures aren't Chow at all. That's all for today, but don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming and follow Did You Know Gaming on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out DidYouKnowGaming.com, and if you like this video, check out our other videos. And if you're into game music, check out my F-Zero Mute City acapella cover on my channel, along with covers from dozens of other games. 